Listen, I would like for us to now shift the conversation to a few quick fire questions as well. Now, these are questions that you answer as quick as possible, straight to the point. And of course, we are still getting to know you a little bit better. You mentioned it earlier, your nickname, Dunga. Tell us about where this nickname comes from, because when it comes to you, it really stands out. <laughs> wow. Um, well, it takes me back to my playing days back home, my first my first team back home. Um, they were called Brazil Ladies uh, back home in the first state in Kronstadt. And everybody had a nickname, but but me, you know, mm. I, I, there was, there was, I think amongst us, we had a Romario, at some point we had a Bebeto, and, you know, just taking from the guys that are playing for, 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 for the Brazil national team. And I remember this one time, my, my, my late coach said, um, your name is too long to pronounce, especially in a game. The game is so quick and your name is too long. We need to find something that's mm. Suitable for you, but also very short to to call, you know, as quickly as possible. And some guy who always used to watch our training, you know, these random guys that are just watching. They are not part of the team. They are they're just watching. And he overheard this, and he said to the coach, "No, that's Dunga." And then he said, "What? Who is that?" And then that girl, that girl, that's Dunga. Oh, okay. And it just stuck with me. And I remember that afterwards, my coach asked that guy, why? Why are you, why are you calling it? It's like, no, no, no. This girl plays exactly like Dunga. You know, Dunga, the captain from Brazil. And you know how how strict she is on the pitch and how she always wants to do things so perfectly. It's, it's Dunga. And it just stuck with me. And all of my life afterwards has just been Dunga, Dunga, Dunga. Sometimes in my home, my mother would say Dunga, and I'll be shocked because... You never named me that. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's just been my name forever. Absolutely beautiful. Let's talk a little bit about your debut for Banyana Banyana. We touched on it earlier. Do you possibly remember against which team it was? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It was the, the AFCON qualifier um, in 2006. Uh, we were playing against Tanzania at... Um, this stadium here in 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 in, in the east east end, Huntersfield. Yes, mm. at Huntersfield Stadium. We we're playing there against Tanzania, and I think I came on after the second half because I started off the bench. I was a, a newbie at the time, so the coach just thought, ah, "Let me just throw her in. You know, let's see what she can give us." And ironically, I I managed to give the final pass to Koshan Gizi, who scored. Oh. I think it was her a hat trick if i'm not mistaken and i've never been so happy you know i've just been on some wow okay there's some something here and even after the game the coach was highly impressed um kept on telling me believe in yourself you know because i was now playing with my my idols i had posters in my mm -hmm. bedroom of the rule papewa uh, uh, Matamalaku, and these people were just here you know and having to provide that final pass that assist to Koshia, it's it's memorable for me. So, yeah, I still remember. Wow, truly amazing. Now, you talk about making that final pass to Posha Mudise to score a hat trick, but I would like to also now talk about you. Like, what position did you play? And also, what type of a player were you? Uh, originally, um, I came into the national team playing a left wing uh, position. Um, that's that's all I used to play in all of my clubs. Uh, I always used to play left wing, but somehow it, that was in 2006. Um, and then because of my studies, and the coach said, "Okay, we don't want to disturb your studies. Uh, you're not doing so great. Let's let's rather cut it for now." And I thought, you know, the call was gonna come next week and the week after, but nothing came up until four years later. Uh, in 2010 when he called me again to come back into the national team and then he converted me into a left back uh, left back role um, so in the national team I was a defender most of the national team duration uh, but I'm, I'm a left winger I'm a midfielder I'm a striker at times I'm originally like completely a, a footballer if I may put it that way but yeah you're a football player, the complete package. The coach can put you anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Anywhere but, anywhere but the goalkeeper. But goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Beautiful. Let's talk a little bit about the best 11. Now, you've played alongside some great players. You are currently working with phenomenal footballers. The best 11 South African football, ladies football has ever seen. Who would you put in that 10? Because I'm assuming you'd put yourself also in the team. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Uh, a disclaimer, uh, I'm, I'm, I've got the best 11 and I've got so many people that are going to kill me for this, but um, I think in goalkeeping, I would say Togom Gaweni, um, I would say right back position, Usimpiwe mm -hmm. uh center back, I would think Emily Mokotle, um, and maybe playing with hmm. ah, Amanda, Amanda's sister, um, maybe on the left back position. I don't put myself there. I would play. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust me there. But I think I would play. Um, oh, Notando Villagazi, uh, quite quite a good a good player in that role. Um, maybe in the middle, defensively, I would put a. Oh, you see, now you're gonna get me into trouble. You are gonna get me into trouble. It's okay to be honest. Just be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, defensively, I think I would play a Yola Jafta in the defensive role. Um, in attacking midfield, I would definitely play. Kylie and Low, and mm -hmm. I would play another attacking midfielder. I would play the filler Jane. Mm -hmm. um, on the one wing, I would play myself. Hey, that's it. <laughs> I, I, I would I would captain this team. So it's really... <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and on another wing, I probably would play. Tendi Khatana, and in the striker's role, I'll play Amanda Kanuni. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Yay. Everybody else, guys, you know, you are there, you are my people. Yes, I will play you as well. Yes. But yes. There, are only, there are only 10 positions since you are the captain. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. Let's talk a little bit about your captaincy. We, we just touched on it now. What type of a captain were you? Were you aggressive? Were you gentle? Like, what was your style as a captain? And especially in a big leadership role in Banyana Banyana? I think I'm the type of person generally who is believing that people know what to do. Um, I'm not someone who cracks the whip. Uh, I, I dislike that so much having to tell and police people I dislike it with a passion, but I know it comes with a job, I know it comes with a role. Um, but I was a type of captain who is free flowing, you know. I, I, I want you to ex express yourself, you know, tell us who you are, show us who you are, especially if it is for the benefit of the team. And I still I still hold very dearly that same component to my coaching. I I do not like to bottle players or to limit them that much uh, if i'm limiting you you need to know that there is a reason why i'm doing that um, but i was a free-flowing captain um, one who believed in people's leadership um, self-leadership as well as a, a group leadership um, and i'm also the type of captain who who was attending you know at, attentive to detail mm. in terms of understanding the the the, the person that is behind the player you know, so I, I don't know how to, if there's a, a word for it to sum it up, but that's just mm. um, who I was. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's talk about women's football at this point in time. There are several clubs internationally, locally um, that one can mention yeah. at this point in time. If there was a team that you could play for, whether locally, internationally, what team would you play for and why? Internationally, I'm a diehard, staunch fan for Arsenal. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, I know, I know. Not everybody <laughs> believes that, but yeah, maybe people are asking themselves, why are you hating yourself so much? But it's okay. I love the club. I love the history behind the club. 
I love the, 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 the football that they're playing. It's quite entertaining. And I feel it has also transformed into the women's team as well. Um, you can see the philosophy of the full club, you know, the whole club, um, what they are made of and, and what they are about. Yes, the results might not be coming, but, you know, it's okay. It's okay. But um, if I was to play internationally, definitely I would say Arsenal Football Club for the women's team. And locally, I would definitely love to play for University of Johannesburg Football Club. Um, wow. I, I, I see the talent that we have there. I see the quality that we have, the players that we have there. And I love their spirit. I love, um, you know, the, 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 the youth, the, the experienced players and the mixture that they bring together. Um, and I would love to be a part of that. Unfortunately, my age, my body is... Just, you're locked onto the Sport MBT Insider, a podcast for unrelenting coverage of women in sport. Coming up this Friday, our athletes, coaches, and administrators answer the questions that you have always wondered about. If you haven't sent through your questions yet, just slide into our DMs, tell us your name, where you're from, and leave your questions, and we will make sure that we ask them. Keep it locked onto Sport MVT, where we celebrate women in sport.